What really happened to Wes Studi? The first Native American actor to receive an Oscar. Wes Studi was born on Born December 17, 1947, in a Cherokee family in Nafir Hollow, Oklahoma, a rural area in Cherokee County named after his mother's family. He is the son of Maggie Studi, a housekeeper, and Andy Studi, a ranch hand. Until he attended elementary school, he spoke only Cherokee at home. He attended Chiloco Indian Agricultural School for high school and graduated in 1964. His vocational major was in dry cleaning. At the age of 17, Studi enlisted in the Oklahoma National Guard and had his basic combat training and advanced individual training at Fort Polk, Louisiana. Studi volunteered for active service and went to Vietnam with a company of the 3rd Battalion 39th Infantry, 9th Infantry Division, where he served for 12 months. After his discharge, Studi became politically active in American Indian activism. He participated in the Wounded Knee Incident at Pine Ridge Reservation in 1973. Studi stated in an interview that he first began acting while attending Tulsa Community College, after returning from his service in Vietnam. He had a role in the play The Royal Hunt of the Sun for the American Indian Theatre Company. Studi promotes healthy living among Native Americans. He appeared in his first film, The Trial of Standing Bear, in 1988. He is known for his roles as ruthless Native American warriors, such as Apani in Dances with Wolves, 1990, and the Huron Magua in The Last of the Mohicans, 1992. A year later, he was cast with Eric Schweig for TNT's film The Broken Chain, about the historic Iroquois League that was based in the area of central and western present-day New York State. It was shot in Virginia. This was part of a group of productions shown over 14 months on TNT as its Native American initiative, including three television movies and several documentaries. A six-hour history series was told from a Native American perspective. In 1993 Studi had the lead in Geronimo, an American legend. He played the superhero Sphinx in the 1999 comedy film Mystery Men. By 2002, Studi brought to life the character of Lt. Joe Leaphorn, for a series of PBS movies based on Tony Hillerman's novels set in the Southwest among the Navajo and Hopi. It was produced by Robert Redford. In 2005, Studi portrayed a character based on Chief Opekinkana, leader of the Powhatan Confederacy in Virginia, in the film The New World directed by Terrence Malick. In 2009, Studi appeared as Major Ridge, a leader of the Cherokee before the Native American removal to Indian Territory, in Trail of Tears. This was the third of five episodes in the PBS series We Shall Remain, portraying critical episodes in Native American history after European encounter, part of the public television's acclaimed series American Experience, where Studi spoke only in Native Cherokee. Also in 2009, Studi appeared in James Cameron's Avatar. He played Itukan, the chieftain of a Navi tribe, but did not have any dialogue in English. Studi played Cheyenne Chief Yellow Hawk in a starring role in the 2017 film Hostels. At the 90th Academy Awards, Studi introduced a tribute to military movies, and gave part of his speech in the Cherokee language, of which he is a fluent speaker. Studi is the second Native American actor to present at the Academy Awards. Will Rogers hosted in 1934. In 2019, he received an Academy Honorary Award, becoming the second Indigenous person to be honored, and the first Native American actor to receive an Oscar specifically for acting. The first Indigenous person from North America to win an Oscar, was Buffy St. Marie, a First Nations, Native American living in Canada, in 1983, for Best Original Song at the 55th Academy Awards. Thanks for watching and goodbye.